my plushie is only available for one more day, so if you want one, make sure to pre-order before they're gone. golems in my house do you see wait 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 wait. look <laughs> look at them they're literally everywhere they're even all over the outside <laughs> they're over by the workshop hello this is the greatest thing i've ever seen well i think it's safe to say that sausage found the flowers that i put on his house because he's the only one that has this amount of iron i just can't get over how many are in here we have to do something with these Well then, what's up in our attacks? Welcome back to Empire's SMP. Since I now have all of these iron golems, I decided that I'm gonna build a place for them, which will be called the Golem Garrison. It'll be a symbol of our newly acquired strength. As much as I love the company, they cannot all stay in my house. So I was thinking we could build them a big, beautiful building over that way. Now, I can see the iron golems throughout House Blossom, but the watchers informed me that there's been a breach in my treasure room. I have to go check to make sure nothing was stolen. <gasps> they left the door open. They didn't even try to hide it. Is everything still where it's supposed to be? Oh, hello, golems. Huh, everything is still in its place. My crown is here. All of my gemstones are still in their cases. But now we just have some iron golems to protect my treasure room. And there's a bunch of iron blocks everywhere. The treasure room was breached to install a security system? Interesting. Well, thank you. Now, I really appreciate this added security, but you left the dang trap door open. The dis... Respect. While we're on the topic of iron golems and our newfound strength, um, my armor is not really strong anymore. It's getting pretty low, so I think it's time for an upgrade. Now on the server, we can make netherite armor invisible. Now you may be wondering, why? Why? Why would you want to make grammar invisible? Well, you see, I got a new skin. Look at how pretty it is. Look at the front, look at the back. I've got a pretty purple skirt with flowers on it and it matches my crown. But yeah, so I got a skin and I thought it'd be fun to have both armor sets. I could have my regular set when I want to display my armor and I can have the netherite set for when I want to display my outfit. There is a slight problem though, I um, I lack both diamonds and netherite, so we're gonna have to go mining. <gasps> what is happening? <laughs> well, well, well. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, just, just passing by. Just, oh, just, yeah, you've been, you've been passing by here a lot lately, haven't you? Hmm. Um, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm just hanging, you know, I'm just in the neighborhood. <laughs> just bringing some gifts. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got a new outfit on. Oh, this old thing. It's no big, yeah, it's- What's it's, that? Uh, what, what, what's that for? Hmm? It's just a thing, you know, I'm just, you know, for the occasion. Uh, oh, oh, okay. What, what's, uh, <clears throat> what's the occasion? Um, prepare to die, Captain <laughs> uh, Listen, uh, um, uh, okay, we can discuss this. I was, okay. I was, uh, um, this is, uh, this is my first contract kill. Um, what? So I'm, so I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so okay. I'm not really ready. Uh, you, uh, but it's uh, you want you want you want me to die? Pretty much, you know. Joey kind of paid me a totem, uh, and he wants me to kill people. And if I kill somebody, that means they might want to buy totems from him. So it's kind of like a win-win. You know, I bring you his head, and then uh, everything is perfect after that. And he wait, pays wait, me wait, 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 wait. If you kill me, I get Joey's head. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. Help me. You're saying things wrong. I'm confused. <laughs> This what? is the thing. I have to kill you. I have to give him your head, and okay. he gives me totems as a reward. Okay, as so you're hired to murder for totems. Yeah, and then what happens is then at that point, he's like, Catherine, you're dying a lot from these assassins. Come to my base and buy totems from me. So then he makes money on top of that. It's a business So, deal. so, but you're, you're, you're telling this to me when you probably shouldn't, right? Yeah, this is my first time, you know. So, okay, well, okay, um, let's gonna take this out. Um, so, uh, um, can we make a deal? Yeah, 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 we can do a deal. You could do, we could do something. What do you, what do you think? I'll let you kill me if you give me a totem. Oh, for real? That easy as that? Okay.
okay, that's uh-huh. perfect. Oh, and then he's going to see that I murdered you, so then he yeah. won't be mad at me. Oh, it's mm-hmm. great. Oh, perfect. Okay, hopefully the second time I do this is going to go a lot better. Uh, so he, yeah, here, have a totem. Okay. Well, no, no, no. I don't want it right now. Wait. <laughs> no, no, actually, don't, don't use it yet. No, that's why I want to put it away. I want to put it away. <laughs> okay, hide that. Hide that. And then sleep. Okay, so you don't spawn in I'm a weird place. I'm hiding this. I'm hiding hide all that. of my things. Oh, your army has grown a lot. I wonder who did this. Uh, you did. What? That's how, how many spots you have. <laughs> My flowers told me. They tell me well, everything. Thank you so much for your blossoms blessing. I actually loved it, so I had to give you back something, something that you know you can <laughs> use. You know, there's a lot of iron in here. In these I beautiful, love it. I love beautiful. it. I love it. I'm gonna make them a big, beautiful base. It'll be beautiful. Oh, that's so good. Where okay. would you like to meet your doom? I can just, I guess you can just murder me in my throne room. It's fine. <laughs> That's the best place. Oh, man. Take off your armor, too. It'll, it'll hurt less. Oh, I forgot. I was holding my crown. I'll just throw it on the ground for now. Oh, yeah. Just dump it there. Okay, this there is great. Is. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two. <laughs> it's your tutorial. Right here, have that. <laughs> yeah, that's my crown. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, my dignity oh, is restored. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> this is great. Thank you for letting me murder you. Oh, thanks for the free totem. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, th- there he goes. There he goes selling. Oh, I, I didn't say nothing. I am. I, am I will let him know that I actually do have one. <laughs> okay, no. Shh. Okay, shh, 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 it's a secret. Shh, it's a secret. Okay. Secret, okay. Thank okay, you. Still, still alliance friends. Okay, but thank you so okay, much. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> Look at the chat. They think that I don't have a totem. What silly fools. Little do they know that I'm in alliance with the assassin. And because I was murdered, now I'm even stronger. Ah, this is great. I've hidden my totem away in a secret location for now to keep it safe. But maybe we should go see what Joey is up to with this whole totem business. Catherine, welcome to the Lost Empire. Hello. Although, it seems like you've already made an appearance here. Oh, I... Oh that mm-hmm. I, I heard you flying away <laughs> i knew it stuff. i knew you heard me do you want to see what i've been working on yes <gasps> test room. whoa this is so cool it's massive in here how did you dig all this out <laughs> Yeah, girl, it took me so long, like five hours. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry to I, I when I saw your death, I was like, oh my god, that poor girl. Oh yeah, I know. I was I was assassinated, unfortunately, but you know, it's okay. <gasps> oh well, it just so happens that I'm in the business of death. So oh, really? Um, I sell totems. For what? Uh, well, for many things. What what do you have to offer? Uh, well, currently nothing, but <laughs> <laughs> but what would be acceptable uh trades or currency well i uh, well come with me come with me okay okay i know you are the flower queen yes. and you should take a look in this chest and just see how disgraceful it is my die chest oh very sad indeed. i know very mm. sad i i think maybe if there was 64 of each color each color you know, yeah i think that that's could, a lot uh, of colors <laughs> You have a lot of flowers. Not every flower is from the flower <laughs> forest. <laughs> what do you mean? Squids don't grow in the forest. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I don't need I don't need black or white. And I cacti don't, don't grow in the and forest. And I don't need cactus. I don't need cactus. <laughs> Just your flower colors. Okay, my flower colors. I could do that. I could do that. Okay, perfect. Well, come back to me when you have that. Huh. So if I give Joey some dye, I could have two totems. This is great. Let's see what I have right now. We're lacking in the orange and yellow department, but we do have red, blue, magenta, and gray. Oh, there's tons of yellow flowers in the plains. Okay, the flowers have been gathered and turned into dye, so hopefully this will be enough for Joey. And you know what I'll do before we go? Just as a bonus, I'll give him a stack of cactus because, well, I do have a cactus farm. The flower girl has returned. (laughs) Hello. Hello. Oh. So I have some things to offer you. We have red dye, orange, ooh, yellow, ooh, blue, ooh. magenta, Taste the rainbow. pink, light gray, and as a bonus, a stack of cacti. <gasps> Whoa! She said, I don't have green, but I have the cactus. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Well, in return, I will give you two totems. <gasps> two? Yeah, one, one just in case you get assassinated again. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Uh, also, do you happen to have any ocelotls just by chance? Just curious. Uh, if you do, where would you where would you put those? Um, 
I'm, no, I'm, I don't think I have any. Mm -mm. Well, Why are you circling do, me? <laughs> let me know where you put them. I'd love to visit them and just pet them. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll make sure to hide them from you. <laughs> Wow, look at us grow. We have the watchers that look over our land, an army of bees, a kingdom full of iron golems, and now we have three totems of undying. I think it's time we upgrade our armor now. Cue the mining montage. Have returned and I got 18 blocks of ancient debris. All I have to do now is put this in a furnace. I will wait for it all to smelt. Then we gotta grab some gold. I was thinking I can use some of this extra diamond armor that I have. And now we must go upstairs to my study. Conveniently, my study is equipped with a smithing table and a crafting table. So let's make some netherite ingots. And now we should be able to upgrade our armor. Okay, now you may have noticed that I did not upgrade my helmet and well, just because um, I still wanna wear my crown. So I'm not gonna do a helmet yet, but now to make this armor invisible, we have to go downstairs. Okay, let's see if this works. So we'll take these off and we'll put these on. <gasps> it does work. Oh, this is so cool. My body is covered in netherite armor and you can't even see it. Well, now that I've got some stronger armor, I think it's time to go build the golem garrison. Oh, you can't really see it. Hold on. Ta-da! Doesn't that look so cool? Let me fly down so you can get a better look. Welcome to the Golem Garrison. It's basically just a fortress to store all my iron golems in, but I just like the way the Golem Garrison sounds, so that's the name that I'm using. This build has four different towers of varying heights. Two of them you can actually climb up in. And do you see these walls surrounding it? You can actually go on the inside. In the front, I added two layers of fencing. That way my iron golems can be safe inside while I still have access to the entire build. So this is what the outside of the Golem Garrison looks Looks like and now if I want to use this as a lookout area I could just go inside this way look I could literally walk through the walls I can see the inside of the build and around the outside of the build if we keep walking around this way we could see my B base and if we go around this way we can see the dive village and my castle if we go up the scaffolding in the front of this build, it takes us to the second floor so we could walk around this entire area. Then if we wanted to, we could go up this tower and look out, or we could go over to this tower and look out. Look at the views from up here. I can see the golems walking around. Speaking of golems, they've kind of wandered all over the place, so we have to go find them and bring them to their new home. Oh, and before I forget, Flip came over before talking about a fish and he gifted me a bunch of TNT. Catherine of House Blossom. Uh, yes, what? <laughs> yes, hi, hi, hello. Hi. How are you hi. doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? <laughs> good, good, good. I, I'm on a quest here, a quest to preserve a population that is quickly diminishing inside of this world. I'm trying to save the lovely little salmon. Oh no, are you... flip, 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 phone, <laughs> phone, flip. <laughs> What? what? What are you talking about? What? Okay, what? continue. Continue. Yeah. We need we need to save the salmon. Catherine, okay. Catherine, the salmon have been harmed for far too long on this server. They've been okay. they've been destroyed and butchered all over the entire server. The oceans are empty. They're empty. This, the oceans are true. definitely empty right now. This is true. It's and an I'm building a sanctuary species. to keep them alive mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. mountains. And I need your help. If you if you have found any salmon, please let me know, okay? Oh, okay. Please if let I, me if know. I if I come across any uh, any buckets of salmon, I'll bring them your way. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for helping helping the good cause over here. Oh, Thank you're you welcome. very much. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. That was all. Thank you. But that's it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, that happened. I guess we'll have to go visit his salmon sanctuary one day. But anyway, back to the iron golems. Come on friends, we're going to the garrison. Now I don't exactly have a direct path of getting there yet. There's, there's just, there's trees everywhere. I probably should have cut these down. That's okay. Mr. Golem, we're gonna go around. Here you go. We have our first golem in the garrison. Now we have to go find like 50 more. Um, am I interrupting something? Are you guys having a pool party? With the pigs and the chickens? Come on, get out of the pool. How are there so many back here? Oh, I found another pool party. Oh, geez. This is gonna take a while. Da da da! Hello, golems. We are at full capacity in the golem garrison. I, I literally couldn't fit any more in here. I ended up keeping a couple golems in my castle just so that they can guard the place. I obviously still kept all the ones in my treasure room because I there, there, there's no way of getting those ones out. They're there forever. And there's still gonna be a few wandering around the outside because like I said, uh, I couldn't fit any more inside the garrison. Now my plan for all these golems is to use them to protect my village. I don't have a proper village yet, but I want to set up a proper like villager village with almost all the different types of villagers. I want to eventually build it all around here. And I want to create a small wall around the area just to keep the villagers extra safe. Basically, these iron golems are going to guard the village. So I was thinking I can just cycle them out to patrol the village. Uh, once I have it, I don't have it yet. But when I do, hopefully they'll protect it. Okay, now before we end today's video, let's head over to the Hall of Citizens. Our first piece of news is from Arya, who said that Flip's photo booth is a trap. Not gonna lie, I kinda felt like it was a trap. It looked like a trap. So I'm probably not gonna go in there. Thank you for letting me know. Then an update from Char Kitty states that Joel opened up a concrete factory. This is so helpful. I would say that about 85% of all my builds contain white concrete, so I'll definitely have to order some from him. But okay, now that we've added some new citizens and have a brand new golem garrison, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think about my new skin. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.